and still heal you. Why? So you can just lock me up? No. Mm -hmm. Just bury me in the ocean with my ancestors that jumped from the ships. Because they knew death was better than bondage. Oh, you think darkness is your ally? You merely adopted the dark. I was born in it. Molded by it. I didn't see the light until I was already a man. By then it was nothing to me but blind. The shadows betray you because they belong to me. In the hell do you think you are? Okay, it's not working out. I'm gonna need the suit back. For how long? Forever. Yeah. Yeah, that's no, no, works. no, please, please, please. Let's just, have like, it. You don't understand. This, this is all I have. I'm nothing without this suit. If you're nothing without this suit, then you shouldn't have it. Okay? So, V's. Let Intro. me... The the intro plays on its own. We don't. We, the intro is a whole it. separate thing we add on at the end. Okay. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. All right. And I'm leaving this in, by the way. So. Um, okay. So V's, let me ask you, what is the better universe, the Netflix universe or the Arrowverse? Bees. <laughs> yeah, I'm here. Pondering. Which which one's the better universe? Which which one's the better universe? Out of what? The I no. didn't question. <laughs> which is the better universe? The Arrowverse or the Marvel Netflix universe? Uh, the Arrowverse is the better universe. Why? <laughs> Because it is. What do you mean? I mean, it what has, what what it makes it better? Has Supergirl. It has, I mean, it has all. <clears throat> so it's so it's better because of the characters. Yeah, better because of the characters. Better is is it's just a better show. CW uh, or I'm not CW, but they just done a better job. I think you know. So you think the best <clears throat> CW show is better than the best Netflix show? Yes. Okay. No I see. Rebuttal. Who me? Yeah, rebuttal. Do 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 do. Here it goes. I think that um, to a certain point, man, um, the Arrowverse has been around much longer. It's been established, you know, and. And 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 V's when you said CW, it was a good point because like because like it had that CW afterflow of Smallville, all this stuff going on, right? And so you got that going on, but then you have Netflix, which by the way, it went as like a financial thing. They got a lot. They I feel like they have a lot more loot and can spend a little bit more time on their thing, and. I say that it's a developing universe for the whole Netflix universe, but but it, it gets but it gets busted up again because there's a lot of shows that were supposed to go on Netflix that got flipped over to DC. I mean, I'm sorry, it got flipped over to that whole new DC um, streaming online thing. Yeah, it's very true. It's very true. I um I think the Netflix series are better if you're going to just compare them individually. If you're going to take, I mean, I don't think. I don't think the Arrowverse has had a season as good as Daredevil season one. <laughs> I mean, that's... Even, uh, 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 what? Even what, V's? I said you're bugging. Arrow, Arrow season three, I guess? No, Which, definitely definitely not, definitely not season three. Um, 
Season three was Rise Al Ghul. Definitely wasn't season three. I mean, the only the only ones that that you could I mean, Arrow season one and two were great, and season five was great. Um, those would be the only three of Arrow that you could even throw in the conversation. Man, why are you? I, I, I think the one with Rise Al Ghul was pretty dope. I think the one with uh, with uh, Oh, that's joke, right? That's season two. Okay, so um, man, huh? Wait, so why do you like season one? Just because it was a new show? Well, be I I like season one better because it was a new show, and and we're gonna get into this later. Daredevil season one has arguably, and if you disagree, I need you to come with an example. Season one has arguably the greatest fight scene in the entire comic book live action history. Season one of Daredevil. Of Green Arrow? Daredevil. Of Daredevil? You want me to tell you what scene? Oh, well, I, 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 now go ahead. I, go ahead and tell Go ahead. I, <laughs> the, I'll pay you back on that. The infamous and now famous hallway scene. One, yeah. they did it in one take. They took it yep. like fifth. They shot it fifteen times so that way he was legit tired at the end of it. Yep. And you can you can see it in his body, like he's barely able to stand up. At I mean, and the whole story they tell in that whole episode beforehand to get you emotionally invested into that moment. I mean, he's been, he just got thrown off a building. And he put back together, and now he's back over there saving some little girl from child trafficking. Yeah, Against yeah, like yeah, yeah. 20 dudes. That, that was good, but Arrow, Arrow season four, when uh, Arrow. Arrow and, uh, Malcolm Maryland in the, in the, in the uh, office. Yeah. And, and, season, uh, hold on. Uh, that, hey, look, I'm going to go ahead. Hey, look, anything from season, sure four, season four, anything from season four will not make any best of list. Oh lord! I'm, I'm saying it was better than that Daredevil fight scene. No, you're absolutely crazy. Now, now, um, when you guys have a second, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. I, now, hold on. Now, V says season four. Daredevil. Yeah, season oh, season four no, is no, the no, one. Arrow. Season that, four is the is is arguably the worst season Arrow. in the Arrowverse. Season four. I, I don't agree. That's but, I mean that's okay, the season to your opinion. That's the season where they try to give Arrow powers. Like why would you hey, give um, why would you give Oliver didn't powers? Know, um, didn't know Roy Harper Harper have some powers? No, Roy Harper has Mirakuru. Okay. They tried to give <clears throat> Oliver Queen legit powers. Um they tried well, to turn you know, him into hey, a meta human. Hey, well, well, look, they've done this. They've done this before, in um, in, in Batman too. Batman and Superman. They said like the whole thing. What if? What if? Um, what if the the rocket landed to? Um, yeah, but that's the, a uh, that's an Elseworld story, or like a that's like a, a okay, okay. like a Earth Two type story. Okay, now here, now I'm gonna bring it back full circle for everybody. Okay, all right. It's, I, I was pulling up some fight scenes. So here, let me help you out. I'm, I'm, so that fight scene in the hallway for Daredevil, people, people, please chime in. Um, you know, send your comments to us. I do believe that is a mimic of, of the, the raid scene. of the raid of, of of not only the raid, but also. Also, think old boy too. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? There's, no, there's no. A raid but the difference, old boy. the difference so, between them is though. Hey, 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 let me, let me, get, let me, give me, give me thirty seconds. Give, 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 give the old man who's almost on AARP thirty seconds. Um, but the, so the whole thing about that is that's a brilliant fight scene. It's great, but it, it, it's a. I hope that people are understanding it's homage or whatever to those two fight scenes. Um, you know, so just to, just to throw that out there, you know, I, I'm still I'm still intrigued by this by seeing the season four because I got you know that's not my whole Arrowverse thing of uh, that whole fight scene from what these is saying. Well, if you if you 
I, I don't know. Um, the that the difference between that fight scene and the ones you mentioned, like oh boy, one of the the Daredevil one is one shot. There's no cut. There's no scene cuts. Oh, yeah, not, but, you know and, what and, I mean? Like if, that's if you don't do your research, you don't know that. If what you did research to know that? If, if you don't do your research, you don't know that. Like the average watcher wouldn't know that that was done on one one take. So, no, 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 no. If you that, if you watch you know that, if you watch the show, you know it's on one take. They never cut the camera. Mm-hmm. I mean, if you if you well, watch the show, you know it's on one take. They, you wouldn't know. I, I don't think that's a valid argument for you to to use that as your point of emphasis of why it was a better fight scene. Well, because I can I can I go, go ahead and tell you that all of know that. all Daredevil's fight scenes are more realistic than anything in the Arrowverse. I mean, yeah, I, every everything I, I, in the Arrowverse, like they have guys shooting at them for like ten minutes and no bullets hit them. And Daredevil, if there's guys shooting at him, one of those stray bullets is going to hit him because it's realistic. So that gives it the edge automatically. If you're talking realism, you're you're going off a of one show. What about uh, Luke Cage uh, bullet scenes? Come on, Luke. Well, Luke, no, but, hold on. But, Luke Cage but, but, is a but, much yeah, better yeah, TV yeah, show. This, and Jessica he Jones is. is a much better he's, TV show. He's got indestructible skin, so bullets would not, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> right. Bullets would not be crazy. They wouldn't yeah. do anything. But, but it doesn't look realistic. Um, no, it does, because he's standing there taking them. Arrow's, like, running through, and they have, like, firecrackers going off. And Daredevil, it's an explosion. It's not firecrackers in the background. Hey, I mean, man, I just... I'm going to give you, like, I'm gonna give you like, this. I'm going to give you, like... More money is your argument, I guess. Well, yeah, no, 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 I, I mean that no. that that makes hey, a big I'm difference. Gonna, I'm gonna give you my two cents on this because I because because I can barely afford to have three cents. My two cents on this is this, man. I I, I know I know you love that whole Arrowverse V's and, and Scott, you're part of it too. I mean, I'm a big this, Arrowverse this, guy. This, this dude is this dude is this dude is parkour. <laughs> Around the world. <laughs> wow. Look, let me tell you something, man. The indestructible skin, look, every single episode of these of Luke Cage, and there are some corniness to it, but this dude is getting a new jacket every single time because right. it's full of bullet holes. Right, right. Like, like, like seriously, seriously, he, he's getting a new pair of underwear every time. All <laughs> every episode. In his belt. You know, every episode. We're not talking. What's the better shows? That was not the question. The question was the better fight scenes. Well, no, 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 no. no. The initial question was the better universe. And you said Arrowverse. Fight scene was your second thing. Yeah, yeah, that was the second one. Now you're tired. (laughs) Question is, that doesn't make any sense. You can't tie. If if we're talking which universe is better, okay, then we're talking. But when you change the question and ask what fight scene is better, you, you know. No, I, but I didn't. I'm I didn't. With y'all with Netflix series are better, but I'm not with y'all with Netflix has the best fight scenes. But you I, didn't. I, I, but I, you I, didn't say that at the beginning. You now you flip flopping. <laughs> <laughs> you pulling out. You pulling out Aussie. But, but hey, look, before we get too deep into that, hold on. Before we get too deep into that, oh, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. No, I was saying that I flipped. because you said that Arrowverse was the better universe when I first asked you the question. That's, yes, but we're talking universe. We're not talking TV series. I think the Arrowverse is a better universe, but I like the T- the Netflix series better. Like, I think, like uh, I said earlier, the Arrowverse is more. It's you know, we have a lot of history with that, but with Daredevil, Luke Cage, uh, Iron Fist, which got canceled, we don't have a lot of history. With can I can I can I say something, man? I, I, I officially and I'm gonna say it for the record while we're recording. I am slipping. How does that? Everybody know that that the Iron Fist world got canceled except for me. Well, I mean, because we're fans. We're we're, we're fans, you know. Because I, I told and, and bees, I told you, as I told you, the last episode of Iron Fist should have been the first one, and they could have had another season, bro. Yeah, I, I can't believe it ended on that. That that that's very disappointing. But hey, this is what this is what I wanted. This is what I wanted to say earlier. Uh, was that 
I, I bet you this is what's going to happen. Hear it now first. They're going to probably get rid of Luke Cage, too, and try and pair those cats up, like revamp them, because they're supposed to be heroes Power for Man hire. Iron Fist, heroes for hire. But they're so not going to do that. Great thing they would do. They're not going to do they that. Won't do it, but, but what a wonderful world would, hey, man, I'm, I'm, I'm dancing, I'm ice skating right now. What a wonderful Christmas would it be. I'm, I'm going to tell you what they're going with Luke Jessica Cage. Jessica Jones, Daredevil, Punisher, and Heroes for Hire, boom, call it a day. Luke, Luke Cage is going to be the bad guy in the next season. Take that how you want. The next season of Luke Cage, Luke Cage will be the bad guy at some point. I'm just throwing that out there since he is now the head of the club and stuff. But we'll get into that. We'll end the head of the underground organizations. But we'll get into that uh, before we get too deep into it, even though we are a little too deep into it. Um, let me set the table. Yeah, yeah. This is uh, Take a Knee for DC versus Marvel. I am your host, Scott, a.k.a. Regular Scott. I'm here with my two co-hosts, Ozzy Fillmore. Ozzy, say what's up. What up, what up, what up. And welcoming back... We don't know for how long, but he's here for a little bit. V's, V's, say what's up. We got what's him. What's going on? We got him while we have him. He wasn't That's here. Right. You have me while we ha- y'all have me, so you better get the best out of me early. Do we always we always get the best out of V's? V's will be leaving I've us. Kids. Well, he's probably gonna go watch the football game. You're probably gonna go watch the football game. We're already thirty minutes into this now. Fifteen. 15 minutes and 17 seconds. All right, let's get to the news. Um, we got some big, big, big news headlines. So this is we're only going to go over a couple things because this is probably going to cover everything. Um, I want to start with what I think is the biggest news um, that's come out, and that's the James Gunn news. Um, James Gunn is officially heading to DC, mm-hmm. and he will yep. be rebooting. Well, they, we don't know if it's a reboot yet or a sequel, but he will be taking over Suicide Squad. Um, yeah, yeah. Ossie, you sound excited about it, so let me throw to you first. How big of a get is this for the DC Universe? And on the flip side, two-part question, how big of a loss <clears throat> is this for Marvel to lose somebody like James Gunn? Oh, man. Well, listen, I'm going to make this very quick. All right, so it goes like this. Man... Yeah, Twitter world, whatever, whatever. He says some crazy stuff. I'm trying to be fun, ironic as a silly, not funny, ironic person would try to be. Um, but when it comes to directing, man, he has, man, he's just awesome in those, man. And when you have a whole cast of people saying, look, dude, we, the cast members of the Guardians of the Galaxy, say this dude was making a stupid joke. Put him back in the line. And then you have... Mickey Mouse and Donald Duck saying we can't be doing that right now because you're ruining our image of everything. And by the way, go by of our it's a small world after all. So I just say Marvel's loss, DC's game, because DC has no live action game on the movie screen. All their live action for like the hour long movie stuff is I'm sorry, all their movie stuff is always like animated. This dude rebooting or redoing Suicide Squad is awesome. It is, let me just say this and I'll make it quick, is a gift. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay. Vs, what do you think? Uh, it's to be determined. We'll see what happens when he re- reboots it. I mean... If he reboots uh, it. We're, 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 we're talking about... A, a, Mm. You guys have James Gunn on this pedestal, and I just don't know if he deserves it. <laughs> Name a James Gunn movie yeah. you didn't like. Uh, let me think. Um, that he wrote or that he directed? Hey, 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 no, no, hey, Ozzy, Ozzy, I got him. Ozzy, I got him. Your pick. Yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. Your pick. Because there's not too many bad James Gunn movies, so I'm curious to oh, know which one. Oh, there's There's Scooby-Doo 2, Monsters Unleashed. You know we're talking yeah. about, Mar- like, we're talking about superhero movies. What you said, you said name a, sh- a movie. You didn't say Dude, name a Marvel bees. movie. Bees, con- just to be contrary, name a Marvel movie. Yeah, like what were we talking about? You know we're talking about the Marvel movies. 
Well, you said name any. I'll, movie. I'll be so specific. He did the Scooby Doo movie. I know, but this isn't taking need for Scooby D and Scooby. Yeah, D. You know, like, we're talking about comic book man. movies, man. Hey, 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 hey man, I'm you just guys, you guys hey, cherry pick hey. the questions you want to ask. Be more specific. That's what all right. Mean. No, I will be well, very we, specific from now on about my Scooby, questions. I don't need a Scooby snack just to understand that all the Scooby, all the Scooby Doo movies are garbage. So V's, V's from you the know? year 2010 yeah. to 2018. What James Gunn comic book movie did you not like? I did not care for the first Guardians of the Galaxy. Wow. The second one was pretty dope, but I didn't care for it. I didn't care for the first one. Thought it was had a lot of corniness to it. Wow. Wow. All right. Uh, the, she is the actor that played uh, the, the white guy. Oh, God, his name's slipping my brain now. But he was, his character was corny. Batista's character is a little corny. Oh, but so, <clears throat> <laughs> so what do you like? Oh, <laughs> that was a great movie. Man. <laughs> I, I don't know, man. That's a that's a tough one. Please. You know, you know there are two of them, right? <laughs> that's, that's, that's a tough well, one, man. I, I can't I, believe you don't like that. All right. Well, that's all right. All right. You don't like Guardians of the Galaxy. Um. Well, let's I talk. Agree. A little lame, but the, the 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 story itself was it got to some meat and potatoes, so it was pretty good. I mean, they didn't necessarily have to need to have Kurt Russell, but other than that, it was pretty good. <laughs> I, I thought it was great. Um, but let's 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 dig a little bit deeper into the the Suicide Squad part of it. Um, V's the first Suicide Squad. What are some things that you want to see changed from the first one? To the second one, regardless of whether it's James Gunn or not, what do you want to see different in this second edition of Suicide Squad? What, what actually? And on top of that, let me be more specific: what new characters do you want to see added to the Suicide Squad, and what actor would you like to see added to play him? Okay, well, I want to make sure I'm specific enough. <laughs> I'll just go ahead and take that question. No, 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 no. <laughs> But B, B, this is a, a yo side. That's a long, broad question. It's like, come on, dude. Hey, hey, yo, you know, we, man, we we're old men with kids, dude. We got to have a couple minutes to think about this, dude. You know, you know, you 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 you, you have some time to think. I'm, but I would tell you this: it's like, it's like we need a, the thing on study this stuff in four tests. Hey, yo, man. I, hey, 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 yo, bees. I need cliff notes, man. Yeah, you need cliff nose. <laughs> cheat, cheat. <laughs> a cheat, cheat. A cheat, cheat. Hey, man. Hey, I'll just, hey I'll, no, no, I, I will tell you this. Is this. I would like to see for the new Suicide Squad an actual plot. Okay? Okay. Because I don't need to see. Like, they had the baking of such beautifulness. They had the makings of the, making it everything you wanted to see. Cameo from Batman. Everything. But then they had to go and break our hearts again with a silly little premise. I mean, we can do that. Once again, you go to the animated version and you're like, oh, this is a plot. You know, come on, man. You know? I just want to see, that, more, I just want to see more Will Smith. And, 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 then, and then when I have a chance to study it... Um, uh, me and Bees will have an answer in like uh, three months. <laughs> I, w- I would say by by the time the next Suicide Squad comes out. That was kind of hurtful, man, but kind of true. But okay. <laughs> All right. Um, we can move on to the next thing. Uh, let's... Oh, but hold, on, but hold, but hold on, man. I what, say what character? No, flip it. What character would you like to see added? Yeah. Um... I would like to see. I'd like to see Killer Frost added. To be honest, I think um, that's cool. I think it'd be time for her. I think it'd be yeah. It'd be time for her to like really let her powers manifest, kind of like they did in the um, in the animated one. Right. You know what I mean. I I think that'd be really cool to see. She's they they don't they're not letting her really unleash her powers like that on the uh, Arrowverse. But I think in live action, you get the right actress to play her too. She could spin off to her own series. It'd be easy. 
So that's what I got. What, what, did, what did you like about the, the regular Suicide Squad, the, the uh, 2016 version? Um, Man. I liked what oh, I sorry. well what I didn't like about it was I didn't like the ending. I'm not a big um, CGI filled ending type of dude. Um, I'm okay with no plot, long as you keep me entertained the whole time. And between Harley Quinn, um, uh, uh, Deadshot, and the Joker, I I know most people don't like his Joker. I like his Joker. It was different. It was completely opposite of Heath Ledger, which it needed to be. And I thought those three right there carried the movie enough where it was entertaining. It wasn't a great movie. It wasn't anything you're going to remember, but... We got to see those characters live action. The dead shot was black. He wasn't a white dead shot like he is in the Arrowverse. Right. You know what I mean? Little things like that. All and if you notice, they're all. So how do you How do you feel about them changing the colors of the characters from? Yeah, man. Oh well, I I think black washing is terrible. I hate black washing. We don't need more black characters That's... just to have black characters, but. Will Smith is a great actor, and Deadshot's black in the comics too. So, well, 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 see, but see, here's the thing: Deadshot is so ambiguous, man. They they they, they have him in a full body, a full face mask, so they always play with right, whether, whether right. he's this or that. It's almost but, like it's more like a mantle than it is an actual one person. Yeah, right. Which which which, which it should lead to, but man, um. I, yeah, but the whole black washing thing is getting to me. But then, man, hey, dude, can we all talk about this, dude? Man, Rick Flag was kind of weak. Yeah, yeah. Hey, I, Rick Flag, he Rick was Flag weak. was weak. Amanda Waller went hard though. Oh, dude, well, she, you know, <laughs> I mean, my girl she Viola. Awesome, hey, she go hard. Yeah, yeah. You know, she 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 she's the she's the she's a go to. But yeah, Rick absolutely. Flag was weak, dude. Yeah, I don't. Um, yeah, Rick, oh, Rick. Oh, 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 and while and while I'll say it, and while we have time, here's my here's my little final, probably not my final critique of Suicide, Suicide Squad. Hey man, how are you gonna call yourself Captain Boomerang? And you don't throw one boomerang. And you, and you don't you? No, he threw one. I'm sorry. He no, he threw one. He threw one. That's cool. That's cool. That's right. That's fine. But what, they should have called him Mister Knight. <laughs> Yeah, that's crazy. Dude, he was good too. Yeah, all the potential I, in this cat. You know, I, I enjoyed the movie, but like you said, but but that's because we're comic uh, nerds looking for certain three things, three, though. Bees, three characters bees. carry the movie. Bees, give me something here. You are called Captain Boomerang, and you use your boomerang one time, and you use your knife more than once. But Bees, you didn't notice that, right? No, I didn't pick up on that. See, that's what I mean. Like, we're comic fans. That's why we got yeah. so many things, like, like wrong with it. Because we're used to the comic characters. Like, Captain Boomerang don't do nothing but throw his boomerangs. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, you're right, you're right. All right, we got we to gotta move on. We got to move on. A um, yeah. couple more things. Uh, the Dark Avengers movie script has been put forth in development. V's, what do you think okay. about that? What do you think about the Dark Avengers? Okay. Asi, what do you think about the Dark Avengers? I like that grunt, man. I say the same thing, dude. What, what, I, I need to figure out what the storyline's going to be. Well, I don't know what the storyline is. I just know that the story's going into development. Or the script is yeah, being man, put in development. Yeah, I know, but, but, but then who's, who are my Avengers, man? Because you could go Dark Avengers by having some Norman... Well, no, I mean that. No, that's the plan. I'm guessing this is all going to be out of the Spider Verse because you know Venom made 80 million opening week. So, Whew. yes, sir. So I'm assuming I'm assuming that has to do with that, and they're just going to build it out of that universe. Well, hey, and can we say, hey, Venom, you should go over and like you know kiss Dead um, Deadpool's feet and be like, thank you, you know. <laughs> um, a couple things for the comic book nerds out there. Um, spoilers. I'm gonna go ahead and tell you spoilers. I'm gonna wait five seconds and then I'm gonna go into it. All right. So and Ozzy, this Ozzy, this is a uh, these are big right here. You ready for this? I'm ready. Wolverine kills Thor. <laughs> what do you think about that? In in the comics? Yes, sir. 
Man, why do they gotta treat Thor like <laughs> every single time? Well, you first, you first thing you do to me <clears throat> is take a strand of Thor's hair and DNA clone oh, him, so you can that. kill the only black giant in the Marvel universe, which would be Goliath. Bill Foster for Civil War. <laughs> and then you go ahead and turn Thor into a woman. Yes, God bless everybody. Let him be. He's a twenty eighteen. You got to make everybody happy. Yeah, dude. And so you do this, and then you and then you just have him trash, man. Ah. Okay. All right. And now, then you, wait, 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 wait. Go ahead. And then you make no, the brother lose his arm, too. <laughs> yeah. And he lost his powers you know and what? had to fight without powers to get his powers to become worthy again. Had to yeah. make a new hammer. And then you... My adamantium has killed a god. Oh, oh, oh. Wolverine has, like, new powers, by the way. Like, his, his like, adamantium can, like, flame on or something. Well, guess what? I'm out of Is that in the comic books? Yeah, yeah it's, it's a new... Books. Wolverine just got revived in the comics <clears throat> after he died. Well, he didn't... He never technically died after he got kind of frozen, I guess you could say. But anyway, he got revived and now he's got new powers where his, like, adamantium claws can kind of, like, flame on, I guess you call it. So, so how, uh, how do you feel about that? How do you feel about them changing the character? That character oh, like that? Oh, it's just out, it's dude. just something for them it's to... Garbage. Yeah, it's just something to spark some, some buys. They'll change it back. Yeah, man. They'll go back to the original soon. I mean, for you guys to be... Original comic book guys. It has to bother you that they would take a character like Wolverine and even tamper with them. No. Nah. Have, 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 have you not heard me say these? I'm out, dude. I'm over this, man. You know, you know, you, hey, to all the listeners, when the next, next power move they're going to do for Wolverine, Wolverine now has a cape. No, but but you gotta Wolverine think like no, you gotta Wolverine, think if Wolverine if they don't do fly. stuff like this, if they don't do stuff like this, we don't get like we don't get like the old man Logans, we don't get stories like that, we don't get the the Batman Earth twos, you know what I mean? Like you gotta you gotta shoot outside the box. It's not gonna hit. It's not gonna hit a lot. Yeah, but but, you, but those that, stories that the hit man, though, hey, those stories that hit, yeah. they hit. Scott, Old Man Logan is an alt universe. Wolverine with allegedly, I, I saw I saw his glowing, um, not um, claws. I was like, what is one, dude? You know, come on, man. No, 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 no. Why not? Why not leave him who he is and develop stories around a dude who's been alive for two hundred years? I mean. You can, but that's just, that, we don't. We don't need. Re- I don't. I don't. Me personally, I'm not. I don't think we need rehashing all Wolverine stories again. At least, all right, at, well, let's move on because I think we all disagree with them. Well, you seem to like it, but no, 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 no. Tampering with. I don't like. I don't like it, but I'm. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna bash it. No, I didn't you, say it. You, you had a strong stance on them changing actors that are blackwashing actors, but you're willing to change the character completely. No, 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 no. This, but the character being changed is has gone through storyline. Like his powers have come from him dying and coming back to life. Like there's a reason for it. There's no reason to have a black actor fill a white role just to have a black yeah, actor. Yeah, but see, here, here, here's there's no the reason thing, for though, that, dude. Here's the thing. The the max out to me that they did with Wolverine's powers, they they had at one point where he would heal like if you if you go back, I don't know for you both, if you go back to the eighties storyline of Wolverine, he got like a he got a sword through his trunk. You know, and it took him like a month to heal, like maybe like a week to heal. Which anybody else would kill them. Well, I mean, I don't think that's any worse than him and his body getting separated. Wait, wait, well, hold on, man. Let me let me finish my thought process before you okay. So they had that going on. Then they then they revamped his powers for the for a new generation where this dude was like like survived a nuclear explosion because there's one cell left that he regenerated his body. Okay, so they had that for the new generation. Then they made the Ultimate Universe Wolverine, where his new power was it wasn't he didn't have it wasn't he had a healing factor. His new power was that he was a survivor. 
And so they had a point where they chopped off his head, and his head grew gills and started producing oxygen because he would always survive. So, you know, I, that's fine because it's still in track with the healing power. But this other thing where I see these glowing claws and all this other stuff, it, that's not part of it, dude. It, 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 it can't manifest like that. You know, and, and, and I'm over, what do I know? I'm sorry. I'm, six, I'm, going on this. I'm six months away from AARP. So. All right. Um, I think that's it that was, for the news. It was a joke. Can we get an applause for us moving on? Yeah. Hey, I, 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 it was, I'm not six months away from AARP. I'm almost, I'm almost a year, though. That was a joke. But okay. <laughs> All right, so on to the Netflix comic book shows. Um, Ossie, what's the best show on Netflix, comic book wise? Oh man, which one of the five? Dare- Daredevil. These. Uh, Daredevil. What's the worst show? These. Ah. Iron Fist. Awesome. Ah, good. Thank you. Awesome. Dude, Iron Fist. Hey, Luke Cage, I'm looking at you. Okay. Um, I'm coming at Luke Cage so much because the cat, the actor is is pretty good. Is awesome. But the, the actor that plays the Iron Fist. Oh, God. Terrible, isn't he? Season one was so hard to watch. Yeah, man, that's painful. The best, the best, a hey, the best thing that did that cat did in season one was jump over a cat. Well, I guess we'll, I guess we'll start with Iron Fist then. Let's dive into Iron Fist since we're already on it. Let's talk about season one and two. Uh, V's, I'm pretty hey, sure you're the hey. only one that's seen season two. So let's uh, let's talk about what potential they had going uh-huh. forward. Oh, the the last episode was was awesome. The way uh, the last episode was probably the best episode of the whole uh, the whole little short uh, series they had. Right, then, but what what, was, what are the of it was him being in uh, and and the, the the two Iron Fists and starting to actually develop a, a better storyline. But what villain were they setting up for the third season? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Um, Asu, talk to me about Iron Fist season one and two. I'll say this to you, and I said it over again. And listeners, please chime in and like, please disagree. I need, I need positive feedback or negative. Iron Fist, the cat, cat was just not. He wasn't right for Iron Fist, man. He wasn't right. He was not our appropriate, like you know, heir heir to the fist. Um, and he, he was a distraction in season one, distraction in season two. Season one, I spent more time just, like, not feeling sorry for him, just going, man, come on, man, get up, do your thing, you know? You felt and then, sorry for him. You huh? felt sorry for him. Yeah, it's, yeah, you felt sorry for him. Well, you know, and not even, like, not even, like, not, but not the good feeling sorry for him, just being like, man, you kind of suck, you know? You know, you have all this stuff, and then season two... As I said, the last episode of season two should have started season. The last episode of season two should have started season two and built those twelve stories up from that. It should have started the whole series. <laughs> Maybe well, hey, 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 to be to be honest, because you know the whole thing is, man, this cat lost his. It, that, do you remember when? Um, and I'm you got my, my my sweet old lady who can kill everybody with her with her um, with her powers. She was like, you would you would leave this paradise where the trees will bloom and it smell like brown sugar? You'd leave that? That place was destroyed. And he didn't mention that, man. He didn't say word number one about that during season two. He was conflicted about it, but he should have been like, I need to find out why this happened. He didn't. I'm out. That's all I had to say. All right. Um... What's your next series you want to talk about? What? I said, what's the next uh, uh, Netflix show you want to talk about? Because Iron Fist is is done. It's dead. Stick a fork in it. 
They didn't give it a chance. All right, we'll move on from Iron Fist. Let's talk about Jessica Don't Jones. On Jessica. Let's go on to Jessica Jones. Yeah. So, Ossie, tell me, uh, what did you what did you dislike about Jessica Jones season one and two? Um, season two, like, was not a great follow up to season one. I feel like season one was, was like, great. You, 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 you spent your wad, man. You had the ultimate villain. Yeah, you know. Yeah, the and best, dude, arguably dude, the best dude, villain dude. in Marvel. Yeah, you know why? Because he literally, like, he was like, "Okay, I'll try and be good," but he was like, "You know what? It's actually nicer. It's actually easier and better to be bad." Right. And and and, and you, you see that whole conflict, dude. And you also see her where you traumatized her in light of all the stuff that's going on with the world nowadays, especially in America. That season one was how relevant dude. is it, right? It's so crazy. It's, it's ultimate relevant, but that was so good, man. And um, she was just great. And you know, Kill Bill I was great to too. See more of her and Luke Cage because that's my personal thing. But yep. it's good, man. Uh, V's, V's. What do you think about Hellcat? <laughs> what? Oh, I said no opinion. No opinion on Hellcat? Did you like her? What did you think about her costume? Do you think she'll have a bigger role, or do you think she's done? Do you know who she is? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. No answer to the question? <laughs> I'm, I, I'm, I'm thinking. I, I'm not good at being put on hot. And, and so, you know. Okay. Let Ozzy answer and I'll come back to me. All right. Ozzy, um, Hellcat, what did you think about it? And what did you think about Jessica Jones killing her mom? Um, I, 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 I'm, 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 I'm a little conflicted on that one. Um, but it, uh, that's, that's, that's a, that's a two good return. I didn't, season two just didn't really... It didn't do it for me, man. Do you but want a okay. season three? I do want a season three. Season three needs to have, you know, man, look, dude, there's a little baby that needs to be born, and season three needs to cover some territory. Okay, okay. And these, do you want a season three? Uh, yeah, I would like to see a season three, and uh, I think Hellcat probably will be in season three. Well, there's no um, question she'll be in season three. I was asking, like, do you think she'll have a bigger role? Oh yeah, it, it'll probably be, it'll probably really be focused on, on her, and uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Okay, uh, let's go to Luke Cage, season one and two. Um, mm-hmm. Who is the better black representation, Black Panther or Luke Cage? Black oh, Panther. oh man, Black Panther. Black Panther. Yeah. Okay. Panther. Um. What uh, what did season two improve upon that season one lacked? V's. Mm. Oh, um, actually, me personally, I like season one better than season two. What did season I have like, that season two lacked? No, I just like the the. Uh, God, his name is the light skinned guy. Whoa, man, what's his name? That dude. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, oh, God. I Mr. No, we're not Mr. Shades. But, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Help me out, Scott. What's his name? You I don't know, know who you're talking about. about. You're talking about Shades? He's Shades, right? He likes I, the yeah, I, I like I like Shades, but. Uh, Theo Rossi. He was Shades, from Sons of Anarchy. Shades was so sick. Huh? He, he was Theo Rossi. He played in Sons of Anarchy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He uh, he was one. I, I didn't mind Shades, but huh? I, okay. Um, Ossie, um, what did you think? Um, which will I guess which season did you like better, season one or two? Man, <clears throat> I personally like. Uh, 
I like both of them. Season one was fine. I always, season one is always good. I feel like um, we're watching two different I shows. I didn't really. Was that? I feel like me and y'all two are watching two different shows. I don't know. You don't, we don't. We haven't heard your opinion on anything yet. <laughs> hey, hey, hey! But, but, dude, what, this guy, So, what, what did you like about season two over season one? I like that the I like that the best villain they had they didn't kill halfway through the season. I also like that they didn't do the typical comic book TV show thing where you got to take the hero out for a whole episode and have his side character be the main character and have to save the day and go get something to heal him. They didn't do that. Um, the villain was actually somebody Luke Cage couldn't beat one on one and he had to go get help with. After, after um, uh, the Cottonmouth, yeah, yeah, yeah. after Cottonmouth goes that, down in season that one, you know one on one, huh? I said, did you think that was sick that Luke Cage couldn't beat him one on one? Yeah, I, I think I think when an overpowered character gets to meet his match, it adds a whole another element to that character, and there has to be character growth. There's no way you can beat the villain without say, character Luke, growth. Luke Cage just. Luke Cage is overpowered. Well, he's not overpowered now because he's not even the strongest among the people that came out of the prison. He's not even really stronger right. than Jessica Jones. So he's not even the most powerful fighter in the Defenders. He already got beat by Jessica. So I, I can't, I can't consider him over. I can't consider him overpowered when we've seen him. When we've seen him get beat. When did he get beat by Jessica? And Jessica Jones, oh, she, season she, one. She, 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 she's, she's much stronger. She can, she can fly. She shot him in the mouth with a shotgun. Right. And yeah, then, that, uh, yeah, that's when she beat him. Was, yeah, in season yeah. one. Yeah, yeah. And then he got beat by Danny Rand. Like, come on, man. Yeah, but he's not he's overpowered. Not, no, dude, you guys are forgetting the whole point, man. His powers are still developing, and he's learning his powers, too. But he's not overpowered, is what I'm saying. Yeah, I like... I, I, yeah, I get but this, I but get anyway, this. anyway, back to what I was saying about... Oh, go ahead. No, go ahead. Let's move. Well, but what I was saying about season one, the last half of season one is absolutely terrible. It's probably the worst six episodes, including Iron Fist season one. It's absolutely awful. The final fight is awful. The storyline is awful. Claire is awful. Amen. Everything is awful about Luke Cage season one after Cottonmouth dies. Hey man, I want to say I'm gonna say this. What I really hated was when I when I saw this cat screaming to a TV, going like destroying stuff, going, "I am Luke Cage! I am Luke Cage!" I was like, "What kind of?" Yeah, no, it was, it was awful. It was absolutely awful. Now well, that, I will say this: the re- the redeeming grace from season one was Misty Knight. Man, they gotta change that Missy Knight. Missy, you know, Missy, Missy Knight is supposed to have a thing with 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 Iron Fist, man. Yeah, but they don't have any chemistry. Like you can there's see it when they interact. There's no chemistry. chemistry. Yeah, why would you? Man, it, Missy Knight. Missy Knight was like when you see Missy Knight interacting. Missy Knight Fist, looks like she would Iron beat up Danny Rand. Man. No, maybe like, you just feel like she just be like, man, I will tear you apart, dude. Um, so Luke Cage, do you want a third how, season? How do y'all feel about Bushmaster? He was great. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I think he was great. Awesome, so I, don't, I, I, I got no problem. And he's less powerful than Luke Cage, and he beats Luke Cage. Like, I like stuff like that, because he's a better fighter. You thought, so you liked the Bushmaster's fight scenes? Yeah, I liked them a lot better than anything in Luke Cage season one. Oh my god, that's- that was some of the worst fighting scenes I've ever seen. Then you didn't watch Ooh. Iron... Well, no, no, no. You didn't watch Iron Fist Season 1 if those are the worst. I said some of the worst. <laughs> Iron Fist. <laughs> that, that, Iron that was Fist awesome. Was I will say, I will say that... Master? I will oh say the God, Bush... You could, you, Go ahead. They could have got Wesley Snipes to play that character and done a thousand times better with the fight scenes. Wow. Let's be, no, I I I, okay. I, 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 I completely like disagree. Seventy years old, and 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 he would have been done better than Mustafa. <laughs> I I highly disagree. There's a reason. There's a reason Wesley Snipes hasn't been asked to be play to play Blade yet. No, well, well, because because he can't play Blade yet. There's a 
There's a reason why Sticky Fingers hasn't been asked to play Blade yet either. So what, what's your point? What's your point? My point is they don't want Wesley Snipes. My well, point is they don't want they don't want either one of them. An example of a better fighter, martial art, to actually watch on screen than Mustafa Shakur. I, I, I didn't I didn't think he was that bad. I thought it was pretty good. Oh. Really? And yeah. you're you're maybe oh, the most overcritical person I know. I can't believe that. I can't believe you thought. I'm well, because you got you got to think. I'm, neither of those two are like martial artists, so I'm not expecting them to be, you know, being real technical. They were just they were just like street fighting. Like that's what I was expecting, and that's what they did. They didn't do anything unrealistic. Oh man, I don't know. He looks stiff. It's bad for me. Well, no, but no, that's how he's. But that to me, that's how he's supposed to look. Like he's not a martial artist. He should look stiff. Let me rephrase it. I didn't like him fighting. I liked the mm-hmm. act. Yeah. The, I liked the, the nastiness of him, and he portrayed that well on, on thing. But his fighting to me was just terrible. But, okay. I, I digress. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Daredevil, season one and two. Uh, V's, who was your favorite villain that Daredevil has had to fight so far between season one and two? Hmm. Oh, I wish I knew these questions in advance. I don't think I have an answer. <laughs> Calling you out, Scott. I like. Well, that. I, I don't. I don't want to give y'all too much because then you're going to give me like pre. You know, you're going to look stuff up. I want like natural answers. If you don't know, you don't know. You get better. You get better commentary though. You 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 get more natural pauses as old men try to play these answers. Right. You're gonna get a lot of dead air. <laughs> well, it's. Um, I think I like what's the what's uh, Fisk or whatever. What's his name? Wilson Fisk. Okay, I see. What do you think? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Kingpin, right? Yeah, uh, Kingpin. So, is that your favorite villain too, Austin? He's coming yeah, back in three, isn't he? He's not oh, dead. Oh, oh, bees! The thunder's gonna come, son. Season, season three. You got Bullseye coming out, dude. Oh, sorry, everybody. People have been watching previews. It's going to be good, man. And let me tell you, there's a, man, there's not a better person to play Kingpin than that cat. Dude. Love him. Yeah, he's pretty good. Okay, and your opinion would be? On the best villain? In the whole, yeah, in all, in the, all the Netflix. Yeah, go for it. Oh, and all the Netflix shows? Yeah. Um, it's a tie. Killgrave and, and uh, Cottonmouth. I don't even yeah, think it's. Killgrave. I don't. I don't even think it's close. Killgrave and Cottonmouth are at a whole another level when it comes to villain. And Cottonmouth was only there Killgrave for half a awesome. season. If Cottonmouth was there for the full season, he would be number one, no question. Okay. It, it wouldn't even be close. Wow, man, you're obsessed with this guy. What did you like so much about Cottonmouth? The actor. Oh, Mushera, Mushera Ali is an absolutely incredible actor. You didn't feel the same way about, about, about my dude for, for, um, for Kingpin? I mean, he, he was good, but every time I look at him, I see Law and Order. Wow. So that's going to be hard for me to get out of my system. I get it. That, that, that's why some of those TV stars, like the Malcolm Jamal Warners and all those guys, it's hard for them to make but, that they, Yeah, right. They can't do it, right? But Mushera I Ali mean, is hard. that dude, man. Like, he, Cottonmouth was that dude. Like, I was rooting for Cottonmouth more than I was Luke Cage. And Kilgrave, Kilgrave is easily the most psychologically uh, aggressive villain they've ever had, so... Might even be the most powerful. Well, see, that's crazy. In, in, in that world, in that universe, yeah, he totally is, man. Yeah, he's he's the most powerful one. But, um, but then you have to th- go ahead. No, no, no. Go ahead. Go ahead. But then you, have to, you also have to give props because we have not did, did this. You know, give the ladies their due. You have to think how powerful Jessica Jones is to actually overcome all and that break crazy. that. Absolutely, absolutely. 
I mean, you, we have not been giving her her props, dude. Well, that's you know, because she, she. That's because her fight scenes are some of the worst too. Yeah, well, man, well, you know, well she's. You know why? But I put her in that same category like I do for um, for the guy from Luke Cage. I don't expect them to be like these technically sound fighters. I expect them to be like brawlers. You know what I mean? They just throw haymakers. Yeah, right, man. But but see, I, I know. But you can do some stylized stuff, dude. You know. Um, it's fine. I will, I will say this. And, look, we are wasting time because we have not our field Billy deal, the Punisher, dude. All right. Well, we can um, – let me ask you two more things about um, Daredevil and then we'll move on to the Punisher. Um, I already talked about the hallway scene. I know you guys don't like yeah. it. Y'all don't think it's a good scene. No, uh, dude. No, no, no. no. no we, didn't say that. we said it was a, good, a great scene, but – you said it was the best ever. Well, no. Well, I said it was better than anything in the Arrowverse. I didn't say it was the best ever. I said it's arguably one of the best ever. Because I think I think the raid hallway scene is the best ever. <laughs> hey, oh, hey. I see. That raid hallway scene is incredible, and I, I would I would put that on the best ever. I'll put that as my top fight scene ever. Okay, the raid one, and I no, no, and I'll no, I'll go no, I'll go no, ahead and I'll no, go ahead and take a stand right now and say this is the best Marvel fight scene, no question. Um, look, dude, especially we, with the backstory, we can, we can get down if, if if we can do we can do a whole episode on the best fight scenes that we all thought of of any sort of show and, and come to some conclusion. But I'll just say, I mean, I respect the fight scene, you know, but I mean. I'm not trying to flip flop. I will just say this. I still stand I am by. Flip flop. Yeah. <laughs> I'm about to flip flop. Um, about let me know when that's a flip flopper. Punisher. <laughs> yeah, man. Hey, dude, isn't hey? Look, man. Wasn't that stuff gritty? Yeah, Punisher is my favorite show. I, I love the Punisher. Dude, I love the was... movie. I love. I oh, the movies were terrible. I would, oh, I I just loved it. I I liked. But that's me. I'm whoa, 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 whoa. Like, the third Punisher movie was terrible? Oh, absolutely. Dude, that was like the realest Punisher stuff you could get to. I don't think Punisher needs to be in a movie, though. I don't think his storyline fits a movie. So I don't, it's, I, it, it wouldn't, it's not going to work I, for me. I, I, I disagree. It fits the mo- a movie line, a movie story to a T. Absolutely, I, I just I I think they have not done a proper Punisher gritty movie yet. And they, well, that might be true, but they're not they're not good movies. None of those are good movies. The third one is the best one of all the Punisher that, movies. That might be true, but that doesn't mean it's good. That might that might be true. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't mean it's good because it's the best one. Um, so talk about it. I I'm not a big Punisher guy. Um, his I'm, and, and you know what? I'm, as much as you guys are talking about Punisher, not one of you, consider y'all are Punisher fans and it's your favorite show, not one of you has brought up his fight scene in the jail. Oh, yeah, dude. And V's, that fight scene's we're better than everything in the Arrowverse. <laughs> yeah, we got to think about that, dude. About that. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Dude, I, I barely can remember what I had for lunch today, man. How come you hate the Arrowverse so much? You, I don't hate, I don't hate the Arrowverse, but it's just not as, it's not as good or realistic as the Marvelverse. Like, it's, and it's not even close. Like, like for example, if somebody gets hit with a car in the Arrowverse, they won't be bruised up. They will be fine the next day. No bruises, no scratches. If Daredevil gets hit with a car. He will be hurting and bruised for the next three episodes because it's realistic. I like that. Right. Yep. And there's nothing wrong with Arrowverse not being realistic. I still like the Arrowverse, but it's just not as good or realistic. It's just more of like a fun villain of the week type TV show. Daredevil, like Netflix don't do that. They build their villain throughout the entire season. Arrow builds one villain, but they have a villain of the week. So you get 20 different villains, 
you know, there it's you know, thirty two episodes. You don't need thirty two episodes. Like that's way too much. More. Netflix has too many. Netflix needs to cut down to about eight. Instead of the Defenders being eight episodes, the Defenders should have been twelve, and each of their individual seasons should have been eight episodes. I guess, man, you could have. You know, I don't. I don't agree with that because you got to get the audiences. I don't think eight, eight, eight episodes does it for you. But there's always two episodes I, I, I of filler. I'd like to see sixteen. Heck no! There's two episodes of filler as it is now that nothing happens. And every season or every episode, I mean, not every episode, every season of every show, there's two episodes in every season that nothing happens. At least. Luke Cage, it happened for the last six. Mm. Iron Fist was the whole, the first 11. Yeah. You know what I mean? But I'm just saying, like, they got, like, episodes of filler. I don't need filler. If you want to be filler, go to, like, a... Go to the CW or something, and then they'll give you 32 of them. I, I guess, so you're more of a, mo- a movie guy then. Uh, I wouldn't say I'm more of a movie guy, but if I have to compare the two, I would say, I would, if, I, if I had to pick one of the two to watch, and I can only watch one, I'm going to watch Netflix, Universe. Um, so, do y'all have anything else on Punisher? No, nah, man, I'm good, man. I, I so that that Punisher rock, dude. Punisher and Daredevil, Golden, Jessica Jones, I believe you. Third season, Iron Fist. Ooh, bye. Um. So with Iron Fist getting canceled, um, what Netflix, what comic book property would you want to see Netflix introduce into their Marvel universe next? Do, and and if you um, want me to, if you want me to, I'll answer first because I know you guys need like ten minutes to think of your answer. No, nah, I'm gonna I'm tell you right off the bat. We discussed this already. Do a heroes for hire, man. No, I, well, okay, fair enough. But like, like new new character. They're gonna bring. I'm sure they're gonna bring in a new character. Who would your new character be? Heroes for hire would be cool though. But that that would be your new, your show, right? That would be the yeah, show yeah, you'd yeah. want. Now, now, in regards to that, what would you say since we're old? For which one, the show or the character? For the show. For the show, um, I would say I'd I'd want either a because they've been talking about this for a couple of years. I'd want a Moon Knight show. I think. Oh wow! Yeah, I think I think Moon Knight would be really cool. They've been talking about that for a couple of years, and That's cool. yeah, 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 that'd be real cool. And then, um, as far as like TV show, <laughs> this is a pipe dream. And I don't think this will happen, (laughs) but I already told you, I think Luke Cage is going to be the main villain in season three of Luke Cage. If I had it my way, Luke Cage is going to be the main villain. You don't, you know, I said that like four times and nobody reacted. And now I'm saying it and you're reacting. No, well, dude, because like you know we're old, and we all, so you have to, you got to explain yourself. Well, I said it like four times and nobody reacted. So I thought y'all were like, yeah, okay. <laughs> but because he takes over. He takes over the crime underground of Harlem. No. Yes. So hey. hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me let me continue. So my pipe dream is Okay. Have Danny Rand, the Iron Fist, and Daredevil, because them two would have a little bit of a tr- a little bit of trouble with Luke Cage. I don't Jessica Jones wouldn't. Those two would have those two team up cuz they already kind of have a connection cuz they're both supposed to be defending New York and they go and get Harlem back from Luke Cage. And the and look, the connection is already there with Claire. Luke Cage will start getting power hungry, Claire will start noticing a difference, Misty Knight I mean, the connections are all there. It's all set up. The pieces are set. Yeah, I and it would be something then, very you, different. But then, but then, then you're not going to go with the storyline of Jessica Jones and Luke Cage. No, 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 no. You can still, you can still get there. But it, it would, it would <clears throat> add a, a different element to it. Like, I, I think my culture, like the actor, would be a great villain. 
like just the actor himself. I think he could bring something know, out man. of Luke Cage. Have you seen the movie Girls Trip? Mm. He plays the well. He plays the bad guy in that movie. It's it's a, a chick flick, but it's absolutely absolutely hilarious, and it's you know okay. all, all black cast. Absolutely hilarious. You should go. It, you should see it. But anyway, he plays the bad guy in that, and he's got this like smugness, and like he knows how like good looking he is, how rich he is, how you know like when he's sitting next to the other dudes, he knows how big he is. He's got this cockiness and arrogance. That's like smug. And I, I, I saw Luke Cage. I, I, you know, I see him. I see Luke Cage. And I see that arrogance. And I'm like, yo, that would be real cool to watch him act like that with the other defenders. Like, think about Daredevil punching him in the chest and breaking his hand. And Luke Cage giving him that grin like, that's all you got? Just, right. Just little. That, and that's just my personal pipe dream. I like seeing good guys go bad. Um, I know you do, man, but we'll see what happens with that. But what do you think about Moon Knight? The Moon Knight sounds awesome. I, 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 you know what? I love that idea only because it sounds more like some Legion stuff. It could have potentially be on some Legion thing. You know what I mean? Like yeah, the show Legion. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, because he, he's supposed to be crazy and schizophrenic and shit. And, and it would be, I, I think that would be a nice contrast to the characters they already have. Um, Asi, you got any, uh, give me, uh, off the top of your head, put you on the spot. You you know the most about comics between the three of us. Give me a female character you would want to have their own show next. Um. They should, they, you know, they, they, they could have did a Spider-Woman show. Oh, Yeah. Yeah, back in the day, but she she's a good kind of like street like TV crime drama level person, you know. She actually was in the eighties. There was a Spider Woman's um, TV show, and that Spider Woman sorry Spider Woman animated thirty minute TV show that kind of was a little bit on some Jessica Jones stuff. That'd and cool. if I'm not mistaken, there actually was a Spider Woman motion comic book where she joined she no longer was part of one but she joined shield that that'd be different I, oh you know what we talked about this the other week Austin. she hulk uh that would be a, that would be a cool little series if they don't want to bring her to the big screen no that would be awesome man and you could do that on some jessica jones level stuff well, I don't know. With her being the lawyer and stuff, you know? No, dude. No. I mean, you can't do that on that. But she, um, you can't do it on that level because She-Hawk is overpowered, man. She's a hawk. Well, see, but the reason it worked for Jessica Jones is because you found a character that could manipulate her over, like, her powers. So you just got to find the right character that can manipulate her powers. Like, like Kilgrave versus Jessica Jones, that's not a matchup. But he knew how to manipulate her and manipulate his powers and use them against her. Well, the Purple Man, the Purple Man just knew how to manipulate anybody. Right, that's right. Nature was well, he he also was really powerful too, though. Like, I mean, it, he just, he, he, if it, it like what it was the it was in the air. If it was in the air, the same air you breathe, you did what he wanted you to do. Was that well, it? It, it, it? Well, it's because it, it's pheromones. Yeah, it that's like it. Pheromone. pheromone. That's it. Yeah, so. you know, you know, you know, you know, what the man's weakness was. What was that? Ivory soap. <laughs> really? No, I'm just kidding. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but but, but a, a, a tomato bath will cure the perk man of all his powers because you know no, but um, no, but his it, it was a pheromone that he released, you know, and he also was mind controlled too. Okay, okay, okay. Which reminds me of this other cat from Marvel Universe. Not to, not to, back in the comics, but um, ah, I gotta remember what his name was, but he was like a baboon, and he released pheromones that made women totally do with anything he said. See? There you go. Like, that's the type of character you would bring in the She-Hulk. You bring in the Which big guns, says, and then, you know, that she gets to beat up, but you bring in the, the real villain is somebody that's attacking her like on a on a on a mental level. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. No no no, I get I get it. 
Um, last last show is the Defenders. Any thoughts on the Defenders? Um, it was good. I felt like I felt like it was like a little too long, but it was good. You thought it was too long? Yeah. How I, many episodes I, I, did you want then? Because there was only eight. I, I, I know that could have easily been a six episode thing to me. You know. All right. I, I, I agree. Again, I agree. There was an episode they, of filler. I, again, they wanted everybody to try and love Iron Fist. I'm gonna well, go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and tell you that's the yeah. only show that has any fight scenes that are in the same category as The Punisher and Daredevil. No, no, I know the fight scenes are great, but just to say that, again, it just felt like it was too long for me, you know? Yeah, true. Um, and, and Iron Fist just bummed me out, you know? V's, what'd um, you think about Defenders? The, the, uh, the, I, 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 mean, I, I, I enjoyed the Defenders, and I'm with you. Like you said, it needed. To, I thought it needed to be a little longer. The oh, episode, longer? The eight, okay. Eight episodes wasn't enough for me. It gave me a little taste. Um, I, I liked it. I enjoyed it. Um. So now that's all the Netflix shows. Let's give a quick preview okay. for Daredevil season three. What are your thoughts on uh, Bullseye? I'm excited for season three. I can't wait till next Friday. Be the first one binging that, as usual. V's season three. What are your thoughts? What are your predictions? Um, ah. he's going to be blind. He's going to walk the streets, and he's going to have some good fight battles. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, and I, just I just another you, uh, another <laughs> another show I wanted to throw out there. <laughs> another show I wanted to throw out there that could potentially be on Netflix that would be cool for the Marvel that would fit that universe. We kind of touched Whoa. on it earlier. Blade. Well, you think they're gonna do a Blade, huh? I think I think it would fit, and I think they would do it where it would be Blade's daughter would be the main character. Oh. Wait, Blade has a daughter? In the comics. Don't he have... Isn't it... Is it is his daughter, right? That takes over as Blade. Nah, no, 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 no. Who is that no, then? I don't, I, I, I don't have to research that. I believe that... I believe Blade is... is, is that, that is... There's it, some... Son. But there's there's a female Blade that took over. Yeah, but see, that's that, that might be on some of what we touched about earlier. You know. On what? Uh, putting a female face on a on a character just to change it. No, up. no, but it wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't like a female blade. It was somebody like related to blade. To heir to the power, right? Yeah, yeah. All right. Well, dude, let me. I'm gonna have to research that because that, that that's that's a little strange to me. Um, I, but there's still more characters they could touch upon, dude. Like they could do more still the urban fighters, man. You know? Yeah. They could go to there, Kung Lao. There, 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 there is a Batman-like character in the Marvel Universe called Night Nighthawk. Not just not just Moonhawk, not just Moon Knight, but there's Nighthawk, who is actually the leader of the universe. Nerd talk. All right. Um, I don't think I have anything else on Netflix. There will be no Defenders season two. Uh, no, they, there will not. They've already confirmed that. Um. Can Luke Cage and Jessica Jones have their kid yet, please? Jesus. As a as a biracial kid, I could care less if they had their kid or not. So, <laughs> you know, I could care less. I I think um, I think I like I'd rather Luke Cage get with Misty Knight if I'm gonna be honest with you. Yeah, see that see that chemistry is there for them. But yeah, man, they got man, they have much Misty, better chemistry. Misty would eat. Would eat Iron Fist, man, man. You know, I, I didn't know that about the comics that Iron Fist and uh, Misty Knight had a thing. Oh, they, they they have a hard, long, hardcore thing. They they're like a super big couple. I didn't know that. Yeah, it's because it, it Colleen, Colleen Wing and Misty Knight formed like the daughters of the of whatever. Hey, you know what? Rabbit. That would that would be a cool show. That would be a cool spinoff. 
No, they could totally do it. That's why I thought they if they recast Missy Knight, like, and have her use her because she's an ex cop who has the training but has that incredible arm. Well, she has it though. I know she's got the arm in the show. Yeah. Oh, no, I know. I, yeah, exactly. So I'm just saying, dude. She, she, they need to recast her so she can get the right chemistry down, dude. But like, they yeah, recast Danny Rand. That's what they need to do. He was that horrible. cat, dude. He's terrible, right? Oh man, I think we bashed Iron Fist enough tonight. Yeah, but I didn't yeah. bash Iron Fist y'all. Hey. hey, hey man, I'm getting I'm getting a sign that um, dinner's ready, man. So um, and I think I think it's chilly tonight. So okay, cool. What's happening here? Okay, we're almost done. We got a few more segments to go. Oh, uh, let's see here. Let's see what else I got in my notes. Oh, that's all I got for Netflix. Um, I got one. Check, check. Get that one, that one. All right. Last question. <laughs> what uh, what Netflix character would you want to see in Avengers Infinity War? And who are they interacting with? No. <laughs> Which character would we like to see in, in uh, Infinity War? There's only four characters to choose from. Are y'all kidding me? <laughs> like, is that hard for y'all? Is it? Am I making this too hard by giving y'all four people to choose from? Should I want to give you two? Hey man, hey, hey man. Is that too hard for y'all? Or? Hey. Hey, 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 Scott! Hey, hey Scott! I want to, I want to see the night nurse, so she can, so she can take care of all the wounded people from Thanos. There you go. <laughs> These? What about you? I, I asked you first. Who would you like to see? Oh, Daredevil. That's not even close. Now, of course, you would like to. See yeah, Daredevil. I mean, that's that's not even a question. Daredevil. Who who, who would he interact with? Spider Man and Tony Stark. And do what? And just the banter between hey, him, hey, Tony Stark. Hey, Spidey. Hey, hey Spidey and, and Iron Man. I'm going to protect the block while you guys are out in space. Yeah, I mean, what does he do with those two? Yeah. He, no, <laughs> w- while they're, on, they're in space, he handles the street. Like, when they're fighting Thanos in space and in Wakanda, you would have the Defenders, or, you know, Daredevil, fighting in New York. With who? Dude, you know, but Scott, I'm just bro, trying to figure out bro, who's bro, bro. The only one that stands a chance are Jessica and Luke Cage against against Thanos's Forge, dude. Listen, yeah, I, I, I was thinking what happened to Jessica. Hold dude, on. So, 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 you guys think that Maria Hill? You guys think that Maria Hill, Samuel L. Jackson, and Hawkeye are better equipped to deal with them? Than Daredevil, who actually has some type of meta-human power. May, may, I, may I help you with that? No, we said that Jessica Jones. I said Jessica Jones. May, may I help I you I know, with but I'm talking about Daredevil. No, 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 no. None of them are equipped to handle that. One of those hordes went through all of them, including, hey, Daredevil is still, think about this. You love that hallway scene? That hallway scene with all those guys beating up on Daredevil and Daredevil winning? Is just one of those meta, uh, one of those um, hordes from Thanos. You get it? You're talking. Yes, yes, I get that. I get that. But let's also remember if you're gonna if you're gonna bring that scene up, let's put it in full context. He had just been thrown off a roof, shot. He has stitches that haven't healed. He's bleeding out, and he has not slept in two days. So let's make sure we put it in full context when we're talking about what he did. Okay, I want to get back. I want to get back to this. In Infinity Wars, mm-hmm. those pods landed in every major city. Uh huh. If a hundred of those, see the same number of those creatures that hit Wakanda, hit Hell's Kitchen in New York, what would Daredevil do against five of those? First, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Yours, he, so, could, he could probably hide, handle five of them. No, he's talking about five ships. It depends on which creature. No, he's talking about five ships, full of them. Oh, 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 
No, but uncle, you're 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 you're, you're over exaggerating. You're you're thinking I'm saying that Daredevil could go beat an army. I didn't say that. He could go fight as a part of the army, and be fine. Um, hey, he man. he was he's a better fighter than Raccoon. And he and nothing happened to Raccoon. Let me help. He's you better than Falcon. What did Raccoon and Falcon have that Daredevil does not have? A gun? Projectile weapons. <laughs> Yo, Falcon, Falcon, no, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You're telling me that Falcon, from you. Falcon only fought for like 30 seconds. Son, did he not, ex- he used many explosives. And then he didn't do anything else. And then he didn't do anything else. He was gone the rest of the fight. I know, but this is romanticizing Daredevil. Would it? So, tell me this: Daredevil in Wakanda fighting against those people is what? He is just another Wakanda with a shield, without a shield fighting. But let me ask you: if he was in Wakanda fighting those creatures, don't you think he would have some vibranium on his armor, and his sticks would be vibranium? No. Yes, man. Okay, so that's what I'm saying. Yes. Like, he would have pretty much the same suit Black Panther would. Like, I, that's what why? I'm like. Why? What do you mean? Because why wouldn't you? Brother, they only give that suit to Wakanda and Royal. No, not not. I mean, I'm talking about with the vibranium armor in it. They would not give him a They would not give him a vibranium suit. I. I. All right. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I mean, Dare, Daredevil's a better fighter than half of the people in the Marvel Cinematic Universe right now. I mean, okay. he's he's on the same level as Black Widow, correct? Uh, yes, I would agree. I would definitely agree with that. And she does just fine with no projectiles. Nah, but she, but even she was overwhelmed by the horde of all those. Of all those yeah, but he's yeah, not going to be fighting them by himself. He's going to be a part of the army. I know. <laughs> I know, man. All right. I know. Oh, oh, All right. All right. All right. All right. Um, I guess that's it. That's the, uh, that's the Netflix comic book shows. Um, hey, and by the way, and the last point about this is um, we're not for certain <laughs> that, that those guys haven't vanished when all the rest of the people leave. <laughs> <laughs> True. That. Um, <laughs> next, <laughs> next, the, the next, only, sh- the only person that probably is still alive and kind of hurt by his feelings is probably Iron Fist. <laughs> no, no, it's probably Foggy. It's probably Foggy. It's probably Foggy. Foggy is the only person that survived. <laughs> I'm all bad. Okay? Him, and, him and Claire. You know they got to keep Claire. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Bobby, Claire, and Stan Lee are the only person that survived in all of them. So that's uh, <laughs> that's our conversation on Netflix. Um, next episode, uh, just to give you guys a little intro, we will be talking about um, the current state of the black superhero and the black sci-fi film. So that's going to be our next topic um, for our next show. Uh, time for the final blow. V's, what you got for me for the final blow? The final blow... <laughs> If we're going to, um, I need um, cheat sheets, Scotty. You've got to email me some cheat sheets. Finally. <laughs> Damn. That was yeah, I guess, uh, I guess I'm, I'm working with. pretty hard to apply. Yeah. All right. I'll, 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 I'll make sure to write down every single question I ask in the order and tell you what time I'm going to ask them. So that way you're prepared with the internet and, quest- and your answers. Was that a final blow? <laughs> I think that might have been the final blow. Wait, hey, do, do I get a final blow? Absolutely. I, I, hey, I don't care how you do it. I just want to be able to talk and tell No, I'm, I'm going to timestamp everything for you so you'll know exactly when to speak and all that. <laughs> I'll timestamp it all out for you. I'll see. Uh, I'll see. I, no, I got, I'm i serious. You think I'm joking? I'm serious. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to write down what to say and then I'm going to timestamp it for hey, you. My final blow? Yeah. My final blow? I'm excited about Daredevil season three. I look forward to that very more, much. So. More than Titans? 
Um, I can't. I, I'm waiting until I can figure out how to get Titans on my Apple TV, and I'm excited for now. I will be downloading it on my phone and then doing some airplay because I got to start watching that show, and I'll be reporting on that next week. Hey, so my oh, final. We didn't even talk about the season premieres, but we don't have time for that. Yeah, we didn't have we didn't have time, and I know y'all got to go. Y'all don't like being for the on the next show. For the y'all don't like being on the. Our show is already running about an hour and a half. I'm sure. Well, that's y'all. Y'all the ones that only wanted to do like an hour. I told y'all we needed more time. Hey, yo, are we still recording? Yeah, <laughs> we only have time. We're absolutely we still have recording. Time. Hey, yo, can we um let's let's say good night and hold on and hang on to the and hang on. To this call after we say goodnight to all our good people just for like 30 seconds after this okay all right um my final blow before we say goodnight my final blow is i'm sending out a challenge and uh and also an offer and i'm calling out all the cats at the defy live podcast i like that little quiz thing y'all been doing and i've been playing along and i want y'all to know i've been smoking y'all so Whenever y'all want some real competition on that... The, you got all the questions, bro. No, I don't have the questions. They have a quiz on their podcast where they ask the, the people questions and you have to answer it. Oh, dear guy. Okay, I'm into it. So, hold on, hold on. Can I finish my final blow? No, oh, yeah. <laughs> so, any of y'all that want some real competition, I'm, I'm throwing the challenge out there. I'll come on and I'm, I, I think I'm going to smoke y'all. That's just me, though. I'm just throwing a challenge out there. And any of y'all that think y'all can come on this podcast and talk and keep up with comics, especially with somebody like Ossie, y'all can come on on. This is an open invitation, a challenge, and an offer. We're going to see what y'all got. We're going to see if you're ready to take a knee or if you're just going to stand behind the real heroes. What you think about that, Ossie? Yes, sir. <laughs> I agree. All right. Um, V's. Tell everybody we'll see them next time. All right, guys. We'll see y'all next time. Y'all have a great night. I hope y'all enjoyed the show. I was to say goodbye. All right, man. Hey, peace, y'all. Hey, um, as, a, as a challenge stands, I'm ready. Um, we'll see y'all next week. <laughs> All right. See y'all later.